Hey everyone, so I'm a little bit late in posting this, but I had a pretty rough week last week um, having printer problems. And I also did film a what's in my bag video, but it just didn't come out very well. So I'm reshooting it. And so that's why it's a little bit late, but I wanted to get it up for you because I said I would, so here it is. And plus I'm kind of, you know, nerdy now on bags and planners. So I wanted to share with you guys how I carry my planner with me. So I mentioned over on my blog in my last post that I carry my planner with me everywhere and I do. So every bag that I buy has to fit my planner. That's a prerequisite. So this is my everyday bag. It's just a coach tote and um, I this is how I organize it I have an organizer in here but before I had this and I'll explain this to you in a minute this bag if you have a tote you know that it gets very floppy and it becomes like a black hole where you just throw things and so the OCD in me really wanted to get something more organized really wanted my bag to look a little bit more structured but still keep the space of a tote bag so this thing that I bought here on Amazon really helped make this an ideal bag for me. So this is my everyday bag, and this is how it looks. This is what I carry every single day. So to start off with, I always carry um, my water bottle. And then I also always carry some snacks in here. Right now, I'm filming this in the afternoon, so I already ate a couple of the snacks in here, but I just keep very small snacks in here. Like right now, I have a little popcorn, and then I just keep that in there. So. Um, I have healthy snacks handy and then in these pockets I usually don't keep anything right now I'm keeping a handful of cough drops because I'm still getting over being sick from several weeks ago and so but usually that's empty and if I take this thing out that's all I have in there so I wanted to show you guys this thing that I bought on Amazon I love it so there's a lot of different kinds they're called like handbag organizers and there's um, you know felt ones like this there's nylon ones and I don't know what else but um, I really felt like I was nervous that the nylon ones would get too floppy over time even though some of the nylon ones had a lot more pockets which I liked and some of them had handles which I liked but I felt more safe going with a felt one so um, this one is from, I don't know if you can see it, Pelicus. I'll link it down below, but I got it on Amazon. I think it was like 30 bucks or something like that. And this is basically where the majority of my contents are for my bag. So first, I carry um, an iPad with me all the time, my iPad Air. I use this, you know, of course, to be checking social media, emails, and reading and writing my blog so I always carry this with me because you just never know you know when you're gonna be standing in line or you know waiting around or something like that or you need some info this comes in very handy and then of course I carry my planner in here um, it's becoming a little bit bulky so I haven't been um, snapping it shut so I've been leaving it open most of the time but it fits nice and snug here it has its own slot here so no keys or other stuff scratch it and then I have um, in this slip pocket I have my earbuds and usually in this pocket here I keep my phone but I'm using my phone to film this video but that goes there um, in this little pocket here I keep just a few um, things I'm very kind of low maintenance so I just have lotion one lipstick that I've been wearing the same lipstick forever and just a little bit of medicine like allergy medicine and Tylenol and then in the middle pocket so before I used to carry like a passport case or like a makeup bag or a pencil pouch to carry a whole bunch of planner supplies with me I've really cut down a lot because I've been doing more minimal planning or minimalist style planning and so you know, I showed in one of my videos that I do keep some stickers in here in the back. But other than that, the only other planner supplies I carry with me every day is uh, repositionable tape by Scotch and correction tape. These are two essentials I always carry with me because 
Um, I don't like messy writing in my planners or, you know, like if I mess up and scratch it out, I'd rather cover it with correction tape. And this repositional tape is great for those target page flags and sticky notes that sometimes don't stick very well. And I use that. And then I do carry um, some writing utensils, extra ones here in this pocket. And then here I just have my small wallet. And then um, I wanted to mention here, this actually comes out. Oh, I actually have some stickers in there, fell out somewhere. But this comes out with Velcro, so if you wanted just to have one main section, then you can do that. Or you can put this Velcro in and have those extra pockets. In the front, I just carry a few hair ties. Like I said, some writing utensils, extra writing utensils, and my keys. And that's about it. That's, there's nothing in the back. It's pretty like firm. It seems like it's gonna hold its shape. And like I said, so this is how my bag would look before without the organizer. But when I put this in, then it holds nice and straight. And I really like that a lot because I kind of really like the look of structured bags. So this handbag organizer is a lifesaver for an OCD control freak like me. So yeah, that's about it. That's all that's in my bag, just to get a sense. Um, oh, I did want to mention about this handbag organizer, organizer. So it comes in three sizes. I believe this is the medium. I was thinking about getting the large, but I read in the description that the measurement here would be too big um, width-wise, I guess that is, um, for this bag. And this is, I guess, the perfect you know, width-wise that way or depth I guess I don't know what you call it but you know what I mean but as you can see there's extra space on the sides and at first I thought that was gonna really bother me because it's not filling the whole space but then I did find it handy to put my snacks and my water bottle on the side and then it fits all perfectly so yeah so keep that in mind when if you go buy those about the sizes and um, just to give you a sense of the size of this bag in case you have one similar this is my personal size louis planner and this is how it looks up against this tote so if your tote is about this size then i recommend getting this in the medium size and it comes in different colors too i believe i don't know what it is but i forget the colors but i'll link it down below so yeah, that's it. That's what's in my bag, what I carry every day. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about that, go ahead and post it down below. And until next time, bye.